The next important element is that the displays of the Tektronix 5200 and its big brothers, the 7000 and 8000 series waveform monitors, is the ability to customize the display. This is crucial because it shows you exactly what you want to see. So customization is one of those places that is very important to be able to get a good examination of what's going on in your waveform monitor. On the Avid, there was really no ability to customize the waveform or the vector scope at all. You can't zoom in, you can't do uh, any of these specialized views that you can do on the Tektronix. I want to show you how to do those views on the scope uh, to start with. Right now we're in line select. Here's a normal RGB parade waveform up here. If I want to select this, you'll notice there's a light blue line around it. That means this is the selected thumbnail. If we cycle through them by pressing this one at a time, you'll see that the little line goes around each one of these choices. I'm going to get us back to where we started. And if I hold that down for a couple of seconds, that brings it up full screen. Now, we noticed earlier on that this is giving us some indication that the black levels are illegal. There's some stuff down here. This is called the trace, the, the part that's kind of squiggly. This is called the trace. The trace is actually descending below zero IRE or zero millivolts. And what if I wanted to be able to see in that area to be able to make this correction better? On a Tektronix waveform monitor, it's very simple. You can just press the gain button. If I press it once, you'll see that I'm jumping to a vertical gain of 10x. Well, that might be a little extreme. So let's say, how do I change this so it's only maybe 5x? Well, I hold down the gain button for a couple of seconds, and it brings up this little menu. Gain settings that allows me to do a variable gain if I want to, or it says right now I'm set to 10x. If I just use these arrows up here, I can go over to this section. See it's highlighted with the, the blue rectangle around it. And I'm just going to use those arrows to go up to 2x. Now let's go to 5. And then once I'm at 5x, I'm going to hit gain again. And you can see now I'm at vertical gain of 5x. And if I press the vertical gain button, now I get back to my normal. Press it again, and I'm at 5x. So now if I want to do this color correction, I'm going to go into the, uh, the Avid Color Corrector. And I'm just going to bring it up, bring my blacks up until these uh, little lines down here clear the zero IRE line. I'm just going to bring this right like that. And then in Avid, I'm going to bring my setup up until I have uh, legal levels. So that helps me a little bit with my legal levels. I'm going to bring them down a little bit. And if I wanted to, maybe in curves over here, I'm going to go to curves. And we'll, we'll pull, I'm worried a little bit about my black levels. I want to go, actually, didn't want to do that in blue. If I hold down the option key, it'll reset that. I'm going to instead do in my master. I'm just going to pull down my master level. So pull this down a little bit to get a little bit richer blacks. There we go. And now I've got nice rich blacks, but I also have legal levels here. If I wanted to, I could pull it down a little bit more, but that's not much. But being able to zoom in on the bottom of the waveform gives me tremendous ability to really see what's going on. And having this be a one-touch thing where I can jump easily back from 1x to 5x is great. I can do the same thing in a vector scope. If I press on the vector scope and I press gain, you can see I'm instantly jumping to a 5x gain here. It could be the same way if I wanted to change this to a 10x gain. Hold down the gain button for a couple of seconds, choose uh, these arrows, go over to 5x, and I could choose 10x if I wanted to. So now you can see there's a little yellow box letting me know that's the middle of the screen. And if I'm trying to dial in my uh, black levels, for example, I can go over here to my shadow and uh, you can see what happens with this area right here in the middle as I start to drag this around. You can see that basically that is this little white area you see. That's my black. And if I get that right into the middle of this, then I know I have accurate balanced blacks. That's a perfectly balanced black right there. And I can see it very clearly because I'm in gained so much on the image. It's much harder to see when you're zoomed out to here. And if you look at the avid version of that vector scope, it's virtually impossible to see in this big mess of the trace where black is. There's just no way to be able to see it accurately on this monitor. So those are some of the ways that you can um, customize your display. You can also do magnification if you're wondering what the difference is between gain and magnification. If I press magnify, actually I have to be on a waveform monitor first. 
If I'm on a waveform monitor and I press magnify, what it does is it magnifies the waveform this way. So now to be able to see um, all the way from one side of the waveform to the other, I actually have to use this dial to dial along. But this lets me look at, for example, the very side of the screen and be able to see what's in this little area right here um, that maybe if I was magnified back out to normal, it's too hard to see. It's just a big, uh, you know, you don't get quite as good of a view, but by pressing magnify, now you're really zoomed in on an area 10x. And of course, if we hold down magnify, like we did before, instead of 10x, we could choose some other view. For example, best view is one of the choices. So I can go over there, choose best view, and press magnify again. So now I can jump between our standard view and best view. Some of the other things that we can do to customize the waveform monitor is, for example, right now we're looking at an RGB waveform monitor. I'm just going to horizontally center this back to about where it should be, right about there. If I hold down the waveform button down here, just for a couple seconds, I get a couple of choices. I can do a parade or I can do an overlay. So I use the buttons up here at the top, display style, and I can either do an overlay style or I really like parade. Parade's my favorite. So I'm going to go back to parade. You can either choose, for example, if you want to, to do RGB, YRGB, a lot of uh, colorists like YRGB, this is basically luminance, red, green, and blue. Turn off gain. Get back to that for a second. YRGB or YPBPR. So if you want to see that, you can go over here. And now you're looking at a YPBPR waveform monitor. So there's a lot of ability to customize the display, be able to see specifically what you want to be able to see. Things like uh, gamut displays, for example. Gamut displays are one of the things that Tektronix does very well, and you won't see it in any other scope. Just one more way to be able to customize your display. And of course, also just being able to go to full screen if you want to. And if you don't want full screen, hold it down, and now you can have the double diamond display, and here's a vector scope display. If I want to make this double diamond be a waveform, I just press the waveform button, and now I've got it to be a waveform. So that gives you an idea of how you can quickly customize the displays of the Tektronix waveform monitor so that you can very efficiently and properly do color correction.